Hey guys, today I'm going to um uh, te test out um the Joy Cons on PC. Well, not exactly testing them, but I'm gonna see what happens when you connect the Joy Cons to the PC. So I got the blue Joy Con and the red Joy Con. Let's start with the blue one, shall we? So basically, you have to click Add on Device. Oh, and uh, if you want, to, oh, and also it, for those that don't know, there is a sync button on here, and um, uh, and you have to hold that right right after you see a window appear called after you click Add a Device. So as you can tell here, so I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold Sync, and then you have to wait till Joy-Con L in parentheses appears. If it's the left Joy-Con, like Joy-Con L, or the blue one, then you have to wait. So yeah. So sometimes it can depend on, anyway, so I just had to wait for um, added device window to respond. So this one, so currently the red Joy-Con doesn't work, but I know that it works like the blue Joy-Con does. So, um, wait a second. Okay, so, wasn't good. So I decided to not do the red Joy-Con. Currently needs to be charged at this point. So in that case, I'm gonna charge it with, yeah. So, so to test it out, you have to click Game Controller Settings, go to, make sure this is selected, go to Properties, or make sure everything is blue. And this is where, um, the bizarreness begins. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what's going on here. So yeah. So currently, here's what I'm doing here. Currently, I am doing this. Currently, I'm holding this horizontally. Uh, this is the joystick moving, as you can tell here. So when I do this direction, it's that. That, that. And also, currently, uh, there are um, 16 buttons. So there's button 2, 4, Three, one. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait. One, two, three. Wait, one. Okay. One, two, three, four. So, yeah. So, but anyway, so there's also, you can also recognize the SL and SR buttons. SL, SR. Also, the ZL and ZR buttons, too. It's L, ZL, also minus. Also, share. And a stick press as well. It won't recognize the sync button though. And that axis is there, and currently I need to figure out how I can get it to work. I might have to get some drivers for it, but yeah. So in that case, for those that are wondering, it, what, will the, what would the red Joy-Con work like, you might ask? Well, kind of works like kind of works like this. You have to, you have to make sure it's, you're pointing at the right direction with less confusion, you have to hold it horizontally. I've actually tested this before, before recording this. And the reason why I'm recording this is in this in 63 frames per second for those that don't, for those that haven't read the description was because I wanted to do this so I could do it in 60 frames per second. So basically you have to hold it like that. I've actually tested this before. It actually works. Currently needs a bit of charging. So overall, um, if you guys have actually done this and if you guys found a way for it to for this to not be just a D-pad recognition or anything. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to if you want me to uh, um, review more control more game controllers. You can always um, let me know in the comments and be sure to because um because I kind of want to make this a bit entertaining and this is in inspired by Lord Carnage from Classic Game Room. After all, you can always watch him. So anyway, guys, see you guys later.